Hey, this is Steve with Apple Lab. Uh, so yesterday, Amazon announced the uh, new test simulator beta for Alexa skills in the developer council. And in this video, I'm going to walk through that. I've had just a little bit of time to play with it, being that it just came out yesterday. But I'll show you what I've learned so far and uh, and yeah, talk it, uh, talk it through. So let's go over here to the developer council. And I'm going to test with a skill that I started working on called Startup Modeler. It's not finished yet, still working on it. But this is a skill that uses um, dialogues and uh, a back and forth um, multi-turn dialogue to get information from a user to assess uh, business model metrics. And so we will go over here to test and then open up the new test simulator. And uh, this is not an, uh, an Echo Show, or this, this skill is not targeting the Echo Show, so I won't need to um, see any template responses here, so I can turn this off up here. Um, you can also toggle on and off uh, the device log, which shows device events, which is pretty cool. Um, and over here, you've got a, uh, a simulator that now supports voice input, which is, I think, the, the, the coolest part of this update for sure. So you don't need a, an Amazon uh, Echo device to, uh, to test. You can test with either text input or uh, voice input, which was uh, a, a limitation of the previous uh, testing setup that they had here in the developer council. So let's start there uh, and you just click on this little microphone and talk just like you're talking to uh, your Echo device or if you use uh, Skillinator.io, I think that's what it's called. It kind of uses the same, uh, same process. So I click on it. Alexa, ask startup modeler to analyze my business. Okay, first question. How much will an average customer spend in a year with your business? Here, and again, I'm using dialogue, so it's using the dialogue delegate response, and I can respond here. Um, $5,000. Your average customer will spend $5,000 per year. Is that right? And I get to um, see my input and the response here in just text. And this is, this is really nice. Makes it easy to, uh, to follow. Yes. Next question. How many total customers do you expect to have after your first three years of business? 3,000. You expect to have 3,000 customers after three years, correct? Correct. So I really just like three more questions. On the left How much here, do you expect to spend on marketing and sales forth. to get three thousand customers? How much do I spend to get three thousand customers? Uh, Seven thousand dollars. No, we'll you plan to spend, to spend dollars on sales and marketing to get three thousand customers? Is that right? Uh, no. Just three more questions. How much do you expect so to spend on marketing and sales to get three thousand customers? $7,000. You plan to spend $7,000 on sales and marketing to get 3,000 customers. Is that right? That's right. Okay, we're almost done. I love that How I many total employees will you have by the end exactly of your third year? Alexa's hearing uh, right away. This is great. Okay, we're almost done. How many total employees will you have by the end of the year? 27. Got it. You'll need 27 employees, correct? Correct. I don't know if I need Last to question. Every slot How much money will you need to raise business. or invest yourself in the first three years? $500,000. All right. You'll need to raise or invest $500,000, right? Right. Based on what you've told me, so if your average customer spends $5,000 per year and you acquire 3,000 customers, you'll have generated around $15 million in gross sales. That would make your average skill, annual sales in the first three years around five million. Stop that. So you can also send commands just using um, the text input here. So um, this, is, this is super nice. I really love the, uh, the updates. The other thing I noticed that um, 
is really nice is you can go back here and click on any one of these to review the uh, the input and the output. So if you want to go see like the slots being filled, you can go through like this. Um, the other uh, thing I noticed is you can copy the input JSON or if you want to manually submit a request that's new here. So you can go to this manual JSON area here and uh, create your, um, your, your JSON request that you want to send to your skill service and then submit it to see the, uh, the response that comes back, which is, um, which is nice. This lets you test your backend skill service uh, just using the, uh, the new uh, test interface. So this is my, uh, well, it came out yesterday, so this is my, my first look at it and I'm gonna spend some more time with it and see what else it can do and I'll follow up in a future Video. I know there's also been some updates to the um, uh, the the backend API, for the Ask uh, API. So I'm going to look at what kinds of new things we can do on the testing front in the Ask CLI as well, and I'll follow up in a future video with that. So hopefully this was uh, uh, valuable to you. If it was, um, please like the video and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those, and I will respond just as soon as I can. Thanks so much.